There are four types of tunnels spanning throughout Lebanon, which Hezbollah has spent decades building to connect vast regions to its Beirut headquarters, effectively making the civilians living above them human shields. But how extensive is this tunnel network? On August 16th, Hezbollah released a video of its extensive underground tunnel network. The Alma Center has evaluated this video to be a true representation of Hezbollah's tunnel network and as further proof of our in-depth analysis of hundreds of kilometers of tunnels created by Hezbollah excavated with the assistance of North Korea and Iran. Hezbollah's Land of Tunnels project consists of attack tunnels, tactical tunnels, and strategic tunnels. Additionally, they have created explosive-filled terror tunnels running under both civilian sites and security zones, which could be detonated at a moment's notice. The hundreds of kilometers of strategic tunnels are actually an interconnected tunnel network used to extend and connect Hezbollah's three stronghold areas of Lebanon. Southern Lebanon, the main offensive position of Hezbollah during the current conflict, the Beirut area, the headquarters of Hezbollah, and the Baqa Valley, the operational and logistical backbone of Hezbollah. The tunnel network, which is used to transport, store, and launch weapons, runs largely under civilian populations, making them human shields. The tunnel network was able to be created without any resistance from the Lebanese government or army, and also exists in the area of southern Lebanon, which according to Resolution 1701 was supposed to be disarmed of all non-state actors' military sites. In 2019, some of these tunnels had even been found to cross into Israeli territory. It is unknown how extensive Hezbollah's land of tunnels truly is. Want to learn more about Hezbollah's tunnel network? Wait and see in our next videos.